What's going on guys? Dieter the Donut Eater here. Just got some donuts from Tony's Donut House and I can't wait till I get home. I need to have one now. So we're going to start with this chocolate cruller. So let's see how this goes. Not bad. A little more fried than what I'm used to, uh, but still has a pretty decent eggy taste. I love that. Chocolate's pretty good too. It's not too sweet. Um, yeah, not bad. Not a bad donut at all. Anyways, I'm gonna get on the road. We will see you all back home. Peace. Welcome back everyone to another Donut Sunday with me, Dieter the Donut Eater. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I went to Tony's Donut House in Huntington Park. I've never been to Tony's before I searched for a donut shop on Yelp and Tony's just happened to be uh, along the way. Checked it out, uh, seemed pretty cool. I really like the way they showcase their donuts. Uh, their counter is a lot taller than traditional counters are. It's maybe about six feet, so they can stack a lot more donuts in one place. Anyways, uh, I think I got a good selection of donuts here, um, so let's check them out. All right, so uh, obviously there's this big giant muffin in here. I don't know, I just I got a thing for blueberry muffins and it looked pretty good, so uh, I got it. Anyways, uh, bottom right, we got a red velvet cake donut. Just above that, we have a banana apple fritter, which sounded pretty interesting. Uh, this is a guava filled crumb donut i believe a angel food fruity pebbles a oh, i think nutella s'mores yeah nutella s'mores plain glazed of course and then a maple bar right there on the right so that's what we're looking at right now so i think we should get started with this uh maple bar seems like a pretty standard maple bar right Nothing too extraordinary about it. Pretty light. So let's uh, crack this boy. See if it's filled. And it's not filled. Very light kind of donut. Uh, pretty standard raised donut. Glaze, not too heavy, not too sweet. You know, pretty good, pretty standard. Let's do this red velvet one next. So red velvet, right? Cream cheese frosting with some red velvet crumbs. Pretty, pretty good. Not too heavy, not too light. Seems pretty, pretty good amount. Don't get a whole lot of flavor in this. Just kind of tastes like plain cake, I guess. Even the cream cheese is not very strong either. It's just an okay donut. Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles Angel Cake. So. You can put fruity pebbles on anything and I will take a stab at it. Yeah. But how does it taste? Right off the bat, cereal is stale. So I don't know if the cereal's been sitting out or the donut's been sitting out, but uh, the cereal is stale. The actual cake donut itself, not bad. A little bit more flavor than the, the red velvet one. Not too dry, not too moist. Somewhere in between. Pretty decent. Banana, apple, fritter. Now, I don't think I've had anything other than an apple cinnamon fritter. So I don't know how you would incorporate bananas into this thing. But I'm pretty interested to find out. Let's crack this baby open. <clears throat> smell test. I do get like a small <clears throat> like fried plantain kind of smell. I do taste bananas. I just don't know where they at. Because I can see the bits of apple. I just don't see where the bananas are. So maybe it's mixed into the, the dough or something like that. But it is definitely different. Yeah, pretty interesting. Banana apple fritter. I buy it again. Guava filled. I don't know if this will be like a crumb cake or what. But it is filled. So let's just 
see if we can get this open for y'all. Whoa. That's actually quite a lot of filling. Wasn't expecting all that. Definitely tastes like guava. Dough is nice and soft. However, I don't think I'm too fond of this crumb kind of top layer. But overall, good. Definitely reminds me of guava juice. Here's a pretty interesting one. Nutella cream. So it looks like just a plain donut glazed with something and then they put uh, a Nutella cream in there. I don't know why they just put like a glob in there instead of like spreading it. Um, let's try this bad boy. Mm. Definitely get that chocolatey, sugary taste. Dough, nice and soft. This uh, layer of glaze, not too sweet, not too thick, not too heavy. And this cream, fairly light. So it's a good donut right here. Pretty solid. Of course, as always, gotta do the plain glazed test. Yeah, plain glazed donut. I mean, look at that. Nothing too exciting, nothing too interesting. Just a plain glazed donut, right? Super light glaze is sugary, what you would expect from a glazed donut. Got a nice, nice amount of squish to it. Very soft. Doesn't get any more standard than this. Everything you want, a plain glazed donut, right here. And now for the bonus, massive blue berry muffin. Pretty huge. The top is huge, but the bottom, unfortunately, is dwarfed by it. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, look at that. You just take it right off. Uh, not a whole lot of blueberries on here, mainly on the top. So uh, that first bite, really chewy. This has more of a pound cake kind of texture and feel and chew than a muffin. Definitely pound cake. Unfortunately, not a winner in my books. However, if you want good glazed donuts, you want good banana apple fritters, you want some good Nutella cream donuts, definitely check out Tony's Donut House in Huntington Park. Well, that'll do it for this video. We will see you all on the next donut adventure. Peace. Mm. Until great.